the New Mexico border. Nathan Mayer has more on the history of Tom Green County and its namesake in tonight's Talk of the Town. Welcome to Tom Green County, the 38th most populous county in the state of Texas with a population of 119,000. The county is currently 1,541 square miles, but at one time encompassed 60,000 square miles, taking up what is current day 67 different counties. But why was it once so big and how did it get its name? Who is Tom Green? Tom Green or more officially, General Thomas Green, son of Nathan and Mary Field Green, was born June 8, 1814 in Amelia County, Virginia. But our Google searches could only get us so far. So we set out to find out who he was and why he was important enough to have a Jumbo County named after him. Information specialist James King at the San Angelo Visitor Center was the man to ask. Thomas Green was born in 1814 in Virginia and just three years later as a child moved with his family to Tennessee. His father was a judge and was indeed a judge in the Tennessee Supreme Court. Thomas graduated from university at age 20. <laughs> Uh, with his degree from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and all that time he had been studying law with his with his father. Just a year later at 21, Green comes to Texas in search of excitement and becomes friends with General Sam Houston as Texas fights its independence war with Mexico. In the very decisive battle of San Jacinto, he was one of the crew members for the only artillery Sam Houston had, the guns known as the Twin Sisters. The Twin Sisters were the shots that kicked off the battle that won Texas its independence. He was awarded a land grant which sits in Fayette County in East Texas today. In 1861 with secession, Tom Green became a commander of cavalry. In April of 1864, uh, the stories vary. He was either leading a cavalry charge or leading dismounted cavalry in an ambush of gunboats on the Red River. While in battle at the Red River, Green was hit with a grape shot from one of the gunboats. He was mortally wounded there at that battle and died. And he's buried with his family at the family plot in a cemetery in Austin. Now, how did Tom Green County become Tom Green County? In 1874, they decided to start partitioning Texas out. Eastern border was roughly where Concho County is now. Uh, the western border was New Mexico. The southern border was south of where Crockett County is now. And there was no delineated northern border. In 1876, there was the decision that Tom Green County was a little bit too big and it started to get split up into the size that it is today. At 1,500 square miles, Tom Green County is still larger than the state of Rhode Island. Nathan Mayer, KLST News. And you can see more and learn more about the history and formation of Tom Green County on our website, ConchaValleyHomepage.com. For the past week or so, people